and I was again in third grade, I realized what my true passion was. I had this tiny glimpse of what my future would hold. I discovered a love for technology. And, and I knew this would become one of the most important things in my life. Now, five years later, I'm still pursuing my passion for technology, learning more and more each day. I am great with technology, and I've pushed myself to learn as much as I can. Some would even say that it has consumed my life. <laughs> Although this is partially true, I do have another passion, which is helping people and animals. In fact, community service is one of my favorite things to do. So I began thinking, not always a good thing, someone would say. <laughs> what if I could combine both? This is my ultimate goal. I, want, I would like to combine technology and helping others, including animals. In the past, I've looked into becoming an architect, but more recently I realized that it's not where my heart is anymore. I would like to help rebuild lives for people and animals. Or I would like to combine technology to help make advances in health and medicine. Technology has brought us a long way. We can now live longer and have a better quality of life. Isn't that great? Yes. But couldn't it be better? Yeah. Technology is improving faster than ever before. We are literally speed rocketing into the age of technology. Technology has brought us a lot of help. We can now do many things that even Einstein would have thought to be possible. We've had medical advancements that have increased the average lifespan over double than what it was in the 1800s. For hundreds of years, the life expectancy of human was about 40 years old. For us now, it's about middle age. We've evolved. Wait. Yeah, we've evolved so much from then until now. There's a good amount of person who's lived to 122 years old. Her name's Jean Calvin. Can you believe that? That's almost 100 years more and a little over a century. Let's look at the, some things technology's done for us. Technology's given us the ability to read brainwaves and move things with it. Soon people will be able to think of driving instead of actually having to put their foot on the pedal. <laughs> they will be able to move their vehicle with just a single thought. Researchers have already discovered ways where they're differently able to move, walk, and talk. And if that isn't enough for you, technology has also improved education. We now, people now have almost unlimited access to resources online. You can virtually learn anything online. Give me 30 seconds and I can find a video on how to fix a car. And even if I couldn't fix it myself, I can find a number online that can help, that can connect me to someone who can. People can now talk to friends and family in a matter of seconds, even if they lived on the other side of the world. Now, don't you think that's just grand? We will not believe this last one I have to me. I just heard this the other day. We now have the ability to get fresh water from unclean water sources. It's called the Life Straw Water Filter. We now have the ability to get fresh water from a muddy lake, and it'll be just as good as your sink water. If we sent this to people in Africa, the cases of typhoid fever would decrease. Typhoid fever is spread through contaminated water. There are also several more diseases that come from unclean water sources. Technology has changed billions of lives. And with the help of technology, I believe we, that we can bring it even further. I believe that we can extend the lives of people who are at the end of their life expectancy. I believe that we can bring back the dead before they're fully dead. <laughs> <coughs> with the technological advances in medicine. With technology, this may not be a reality, but not in our time and day, but soon the impossible will be possible. Now I'm going to tell you a story in which technology has changed the life of someone near and dear to our hearts. I'm going to tell you how technology, advances in technology and people like me, a computer geek, can continue to change this boy's life. And the lives of others by pursuing our dreams and passions. Corey Sautering, the boy behind the vision of our school.
can now move around and communicate through the means of technology. He is a differently abled boy and has faced many challenges from birth on. But with the help of technology, he now has the ability to, he now has a wheelchair that he can move on his own, and he even has a sound system that allows him to spread the joy of music with the world around him. He can use his phone to talk and stay connected to friends and family, and even has started his own foundation through the means of technology. Without it, his life would be significantly different. And he, he can be like any one of us with just a small push of it. And anyone else with CP can too. Stories like this continue to rise each day. We now, be able, we now have ionic limbs that we can add on to our own, and who knows? Maybe with just a small push of technology, we can give people who can't talk a necklace that'll be a voice activator. Now, it will be able to read their brainwaves and feel the vibrations in their throat to make real words of it. Sure, this isn't real yet, but I feel we are not far from it. There are so many things that don't exist yet, but mark my words, one day soon they will. You may not know it or want to accept it, but us children, the geeks of the computer world, are the future, and there are some technology geniuses in here that will help create, change, and expand the knowledge and possibilities. Thank you.